Icon is a construction technology company developing large-scale robotics, advanced materials, and software systems to help us build more affordably, more quickly, without sacrificing resiliency, beauty, sustainability, and the things that really matter to us in the built environment. For the past more than half a decade, we've been using a gantry style 3D printer to do the, the primary, sort of the workhorse of what we do. So when we're receiving feedback from the guys in the field, the main piece of friction was the ability to set up and transport the system from place to place. So the limits that we hit with the gantry system, number one, the logistics were quite complicated. It, it needed rails to be installed. So those, those rails had to get hauled on a truck, they had to get installed in a very level way on site. So we needed a rail -less system. Across multiple areas of the product design, between Vulcan and the next generation printer, we made some meaningful improvements. So the system includes a tracked mobility base. And by having the tracked mobility base, we can actually mobilize from one lot to the other lot immediately after finishing a print job. This will save us one to three shifts of human labor that we would otherwise be spending on setup. We also continuously get asked about uh, multi-story construction. So we need a rail system, we need a multi-story system. Yeah, so the current Vulcan system can reach a single story. Uh, for the next generation system, we wanted to allow for multi-story to allow our customers to have greater versatility with the architecture. As we thought about what Vulcan could be in the future, how we could be more flexible and more mobile as a printing system. The next generation form factor is a serial arm. It has a 70 foot print radius. But the problem remains that when you go with a very long arm like that, it is not stable at all. And so we would not be able to print with it. And so the question was, could we stabilize it? And so that was the spark. We said, we think we can, and we're going to try. With our first prototype, we were able to accomplish a demonstration print, and that pushed the architecture limits, as well as the scale limits of everything we knew to be possible with uh, Vulcan. So we were able to go from 10 to 12 feet high to 27 feet tall, and then we were able to push the envelope to like 110 feet long as a, as a print. And number three, we have to always continue to reduce the cost of materials and labor. The gantry style system needed a crew of three to four people to operate out in the field. This next generation printer is designed to work with one operator. We wanted to invite as many people to help us in our mission to end the housing crisis. And to do so, we wanted to make it so simple that anybody could be a part of this future. And the moment that we're approaching as a company is the moment we've been living for and the moment we've been dreaming about. And that's the moment that we can put these technologies into the hands of other people in opening up incredible opportunities, what they build, whether that be affordable housing, middle market housing, workforce housing, high-end experimental luxury housing, light commercial, you name it. This is a new paradigm of building. We're very, very excited and believe that the industry is going to pick this up as a strong signal and scale things massively. Within a few years, the number of printers and the number of job sites is going to grow exponentially. We want to empower the on-the-ground builders in their home communities, their home markets, their home countries to work together to solve the global housing crisis and to make the future very, very incredible.